Hello people, this is T from T's Jams, and I'm back with another tutorial about custom assets in your game. Today we're going to go over side battler sheets. I made a little template here to make it easier to explain. You'll see this is a default side battler sheet, and each square is 64 pixels by 64 pixels. This sheet is divided into several different sections that have a three-step animation enabling your character to do different actions for different conditions during the battle. The first section shows the idle animation. It just looks like he's breathing. The second section is when he's ready to do a physical attack, and so on and so forth. We have ready magical, guard, damage, evade, stabbing, swinging, shooting, using physical skill, use magical skill, use item, escape, victory, crisis, danger, abnormal state, sleeping, and dead. Each one of these sections only has three characters in it, and as I already pointed out, the default sheet is 64 pixels wide by 64 pixels tall for each box. Just like with the sprite sheet, you can change the size of these boxes to anything you want. Just to make sure that all the boxes on one sheet are the same size. See, this is 64 by 64. So is this one. So is that one. So is this one. Just make sure all the boxes are the same size. Let's check out a little custom battler sheet that I made so we can play with the sizes a little bit and have some fun. I know, I know, I know what you guys are all thinking. Does she take commissions? No, I don't take commissions. My art is one of a kind. Sorry, I know you're disappointed. But let's just keep going with the tutorial, okay? So as you can see, I made an awesome battler and we've got the idle animations and we got the fighting animations. He's got his dukes up and we got the dead ones. And of course, that means when you're dead, you have X's for eyes and yeah, so we're gonna check this out in game, but first let's play with the size a little bit. Now it can be any number you want. Let's go with, let's make them really, really, really big. Uh, one, three, hundred. Yeah! And then let's make them kind of fat. Uh, six hundred. Yeah! Alright! Now let's see what this looks like in game. We just need to overwrite our file. Woohoo! Alright! He looks pretty cool. Now, let's see what some of these animations look like. Remember, this is the idle animation and it looks perfect. Let's try attack. Yeah! Ow! Okay, let's look at something else then. About casting. Woohoo! That was absolutely wonderful. Now he's sleeping. This is our abnormal state animation. So let's use an item and fix him. Uh, this one. Yeah. This is our item using animation. What else do we have? Let's see. We got... Yeah, let's steal something. We stole 200 gold. Very cool. Now we're sleeping again. And again. And we're gonna be upside down again. And... It's punching us in the face. Okay. I think I'm gonna die now. We get to see the death animation. There it is. I'm super dead, as you can see. From the X's on my face. So there it is, it's super simple. As long as you put the animations you want in the correct position on your sheet, you can have any size battler that you want. And really, they could look like anything you want, as you can see from my beautiful, amazing stick figure art. It's the best art ever. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content in the future, please make sure to subscribe. And as always, bye!